What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Cast you side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Okay, well, I put the message out this morning, and I still stand by it. But I was sitting here training for, um, studying for a training certification in my career field. And I stopped, I was chilling, drinking me some coffee, and then I get a channel. So it's at least for one person in the universe. I mean, if it happens that way, it happens that way. Um, I'm really trying to wean off the channel, not me wean off the channel, but reduce the channel a little bit. <laughs> um, and that's just the truth. I mean, but if I get messages, I get messages, and I'm not going to... Um, you know, not deliver them. However, the chan um, the messages I got from Spirit this morning when I was driving home, um, it's guiding me away from this channel. It, it really is. It's guiding me away. Um, but in the channel message I received in here, I heard deliver it. I heard deliver it. So there is a reason this is, I'm getting it, is what I'm saying. And um, so it's for, I mean, somebody needs to hear it that apparently watches my channel. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, like I said, I'm gui I've been guided away from the divine, from this channel. And I'm completely at peace with that. Um, I mean, now, however long that is, I might come back. I mean, I might not. Um, but this one I heard deliver. So I'm going to do it. I mean, anytime I've gotten personal messages from the spiritual realm, I have listened. And I, I have listened including this one. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right, we're going to do the song first. And then we'll um, jump into it, okay? Um, I want to say we've been pulling in a lot of drugs in here recently. And it has to do with the channel message. A lot of drugs. A lot, lot, lot of drugs. People about to, get, about to get busted in workplace situations for drugs. People about to get busted in family situations for drugs. I mean drug dealer of a city about to be exposed and caught. I mean, huge, huge drug-related things. Huge. This has to do with drugs, too. And I'm serious. Somebody out there is around heavy, heavy, heavy drug influence type of people. Whoever you are, um, whoever you are, won't stand down by muse is the song. Won't, won't stand down by muse. That is the song. So you plug it in, how it resonates. It's pretty strong. Okay. So the channel message I received, I'm going to use this deck, is um, through very significant series of chain of events, someone that is um, withdrawing off of severe drugs, um, I heard very strong narcotics, um, is, about to, um, is about to overdose. And it's going to cause a death. That's what I heard. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, that is so strong. Um, so strong. So somebody's going through withdrawals, DTs. They're going through DTs, um, for drug use. And I heard narcotics, so I mean, it's, sorry, I pick it up my pimple, but it's just what it is. So, um, they're withdrawing. They're going through DTs. Um, now anybody doesn't know symptoms of DTs, shaking, um, Shaking is a huge one, and uh, depending on what you're withdrawing from, and um, and there's other there's other um, withdrawal symptoms as well. But they're going through withdrawals. They're going through withdrawal, sweatiness, sweatiness, cold, claiminess, shaking, um, fidgeting could be uh, with, uh, a symptom as well. But they're going through DTs. They're going through DTs, some kind of narcotic withdrawal. But they're trying to get off the drugs is what it sounds like. It sounds like they're trying to get off the drugs. But through many shocking series of chain events, it sounds like they're about to go back. Um, they're about to go back. So, um, and then it's going to cause an overdose. And then the overdose is going to lead to the death. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So the won't stand down energy in this situation, I feel, is they're going to go back. Ooh. They're going to go back. They're going to go back to the drugs, uh, is what I'm feeling uh, with the song. 
won't stand down. They're going to go back to the drugs. Um, that's exactly what I feel. Let me look something up real quick and then we'll continue. Okay, so some kind of um, narcotic use. I'm going to look up what, I mean, I know my not I know my knowledge I know what narcot I know what narcotics are but I'm gonna get a whole list so we can re read them out. Meth two for one of these situations. Meth two for one of these situations. Okay. So meth too for one of these situations. Now meth isn't considered a narcotic, um, but it is a very popular street drug, um, and it's very highly addictive. Um, I've never, never, never tried meth. Never want to try meth. Period. But I used to work in a jail, and I used to be around a lot of meth heads, basically, um, that would come in. Um, and I, I mean, I'm not trying to group them as meth heads, but I mean, I'm serious. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, but meth is not considered a narcotic, uh, but meth in here too. So there's at least going to be two deaths to a um, overdose soon. They're trying to withdraw off of it, but it's one's meth, one's narcotics. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. I'm getting this channeling for a reason. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so narcotics um, are opiates, which narcotics are opiates, such as morphine and codeine. Okay, so, well, let's, hold on. There's more. It's not just morphine and codeine. Okay, well, okay. It's going to take too long to search them all, but um, heroin is an opioid. Narcotic, heroin is. So it could be heroin, morphine, codeine, anything, um, Anything of that nature. Um, and then one's a narcotic, one is meth. Um, it could be somebody you're connected to, but I heard it's going to cause a death. We have extremes on the bottom of the deck. Number 34 could be a very significant number in one's life. It could be a possible age of um, you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible jersey number, um, possible green card number, number 34, extremes. Some have been doing this secretly for so long, their body is just going to give out when they go back. Oh my God. Woo. Damn. I heard um, some have been doing this for so long that their body's just going to give out when they go back. So they've been going to extreme secretly. I heard secretly. So they've been doing it secretly. So, you know, a shooting up between their toes, shooting up somewhere secret on their body, um, going in a private space and sh shooting or snorting or orally ingesting or whatever they're doing, they're doing it secret. So nobody knows they're doing it. I heard they've been doing it so long that their body's about to give out. I mean, we have, it, we have death energy in here. We have death freaking energy in here. I mean, that's once you go over to the other side, there is no coming back. And I'm serious. And this is drug related. Spirit messages you have to look at. Nourishment. Hard to stop. We have growth on the bottom of the deck. Reverse. Five or seven could be very significant numbers in one's life. Possible ages of a ch children of yours or somebody you're connected to. Five and seven. It could be possible date of birth number. Possible lottery number. Possible green card number. Possible social security card number. Uh, possible jersey number. Five or seven. Um, nourishment, upright, and growth. These people have strong will, but they have been stronger will to go back. And it's about to happen and create many series of chain events. Funeral, funeral energy coming. Confirmation from my intuitive kitty, by the way. He's going at it. And he hasn't meowed all day, actually. He hasn't meowed all day. I've been here today, all day. He has not meowed all day. And I'm serious about that. Until now. Come here.
Come on, baby. And it's my intuitive one, fat boy sitting on the couch. Come on. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard they've been doing it so long, they're going to go back. So they're trying hard. They're going through DTs. They're trying hard to get off. But I feel whoever these people are, they've been doing it for years. I mean, like years. They didn't just start, I don't feel. I feel years here. I mean, I'm serious. So um, nourishment. They're about to refeed their body with opioids uh, slash narcotics or um, or um, like or meth. Um, nourishment in this case is ingesting of the drugs because they have they've had it in their mind that they have to have it, and their body has had a response physiolo physiologic response to it for years that they, it has to have it. So they're not only dealing with the mental facet of it, they're dealing with the physiologic function of their body withdrawing from it too, which is making it harder on them. So are they going to go back and it's going to cause a death? So they, one too many shoot ups, one too many snort ups, one too many ingestibles. I mean, it's about to, it's about to take its toll. And then growth reverse. I think this is the death energy, to be honest. I think their body's about to give up and it's about to give up. Like no respirations. No, uh, pul pulseless, no respirations, that kind of thing. Um, growth reverse. I heard funeral coming, funeral coming. Um, and yeah, funeral coming. Man, this is strong. One of these people is pregnant. Oh my God, one of these people is pregnant. So one of these drug users are pregnant. It's one of them is a femme energy. Now, I didn't hear the, you know, what size they were, masculine or feminine, but one is definitely either a femme energy or they have masculine and femme parts. They they are growing a child in the womb. I'll tell you that. One's a femme energy um, or masculine and femme parts. Um, that could be the death of the fetus and the death of that person. Um, death energy here is what I feel with growth reverse and no growth in the situation because the drugs are about to take over and their body is just about to give out um, that's what I mean they're trying to fight it but it's it's not it's like the drugs are about to win is exactly what I'm feeling and I didn't hear that but that, that's just my deductive logic and reasoning the drugs are about to win let me see if I hear anything else Okay, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear anything else. All right, I hope this helped you guys. Um, I hope this helped. Love you guys so much. Namaste.